It is Tuesday, August 18th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including record-shattering Sichuan floods to hammer China's Three Gorges Dam. Also, courtesy of Xinhua, update China's Sichuan heightens flood emergency response. And next, courtesy of China Daily, China's Yangtze River sees fifth flood of the year. We also have some new pictures, courtesy of CGTN, and some new footage playing in the background. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And a quick follow up on the Kuntan Dam. The blue line on the chart in the background illustrates just how quickly the water level has risen at the Kuntan Dam which sits upstream from the Three Gorges Dam. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. Since yesterday's video, the water level at the dam is up to 158.47 meters. The dam is currently discharging at 48,100 cubic meters per second. And the last noted inflow at the dam was 58,000 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And our first article is courtesy of Taiwan News. Record shattering Sichuan floods to hammer China's Three Gorges Dam. Massive rains pounding Chongqing and much of Sichuan province over the past few days have led to record setting floods and alerts and are generating the highest inflow into the vaunted Three Gorges Dam yet this year, surpassing the huge quantities of water seen in the four previous floods over the past three months. In Sichuan and Chongqing, which sit on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, days of torrential rain have caused numerous floods to break out. The Changjiang Water Resources Commission of the Ministry of Water Resources at 2 p.m. on Monday announced that the number 5 flood of this year had formed on the upper reaches of the river and would pass through the Three Gorges Dam with an astonishing inflow rate of 70,000 cubic meters per second, a record for this year. The Sichuan provincial government announced on Sunday, August 16th, that it would send four more groups to disaster-stricken areas of Meishan, Yan, Shindu, and Guanyan to provide disaster relief, bringing the number of relief groups dispatched across the provinces to six. That same day, the Sichuan provincial government dispatched groups to Meiyang and Daeyang, two other cities where extensive flooding has been reported. The flooding situation in Sichuan and Chongqing can be measured by the water levels of the Yangtze River. The CWRC said that as of 2 p.m. on Monday afternoon, the Kuntan station at the center of Chongqing recorded a flow rate as high as 50,100 cubic meters per second. The CWRC predicted that by early Wednesday morning, August 19th, the water flowing through Kuntan will peak at 3 to 4 meters higher than the safe water level for dike integrity. On Monday afternoon, authorities estimated that the water level of Chindu's Jintang County, located at the upper reaches of the Tuo River, would exceed the safe level by 3.85 meters, with the maximum peak discharge climbing to 8,200 cubic meters per second, setting a new record since the founding of Communist China 71 years ago. China's state-run mouthpiece Xinhua on Tuesday, August 18th, reported that the Sichuan province that day had activated its highest level of flood control response for the first time on record. At 5 a.m. that morning, the province's flood control and drought relief headquarters raised its flood control response to level 1, the highest in the four-tier system, describing the situation as grim. The state-run outlet stated that the Yan section of the Qingyi River has been struck by the biggest flood seen in 100 years. Meanwhile, water levels in the Qingyi River Basin and the lower reaches of the Daidu River and Men River are all expected to exceed warning levels. Floods said to be beating historical records are anticipated at the San Huang Mayo Station along the Tuozhang River while heavy flooding is also predicted for the middle and lower reaches of the Fuyang River. 
And our next article comes courtesy of Xinhua. Update, China's Sichuan heightens flood emergency response. Southwest China's Sichuan province on Monday upgraded its flood control response to level 2, the second highest rung in the four-tier emergency response system for floods, as downpours are forecast to persist. Floods beating historical records are expected at the San Huang Miao station along the Tojiang River, while heavy floods are expected to continue in the middle and lower reaches of the Fujian River. The province's flood control and drought relief headquarters therefore decided to raise the emergency response as the situation remains grim. Heavy rains during the weekend have affected more than 60,000 residents in Sichuan. Farmland, transportation, water conservation projects, and other infrastructure in various parts of the province have been damaged to varying degrees. As of 9 a.m. Monday, traffic on 10 sections of highways and 71 sections of other major roads in Sichuan had been disrupted by continuous rain and flash floods, according to the province's transportation department. In Mayan City of Sichuan, two heavy haul freight trains with a total weight of 8,100 tons were pulled onto the Fuyan Bridge by locomotives on Monday afternoon to help thwart the impact of floods. Continuous rain since Saturday night has caused the Mayan section of the Fuyan River in the province to exceed warning levels, posing a serious threat to the safety of the bridge. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And this comes courtesy of ChinaDaily.com. China's Yangtze River sees fifth flood of the year. The Yangtze River, China's longest, Monday recorded the fifth flood of the year in its upper reaches after a spell of heavy rainfall, the Ministry of Water Resources said. The flood formed with a rapid increase of flow at Kuntan Hydrologic Station in southwest China's Chongqing Municipality. At 2 p.m. Monday, the station saw a water flow of 50,100 cubic meters per second. The ministry has called on relevant authorities to strengthen monitoring and early warning as well as flood prevention efforts in the Three Gorges Reservoir and other main reservoirs. The fourth flood was recorded on August 14th. And our last piece of information is a series of photos of China's recent floods released by CGTN and China Daily. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.